Hello, welcome to another one. Uh, so in this one, I will be uh, discussing about the FPG, his requirement, his uh, study materials, and everything. So, what is FPG? Uh, so FPG is actually an equivalency based exam, uh, which is a basic in nature. That is your pharmacy basic knowledge, and will give you an equivalency certificate uh, to practice uh, for the internship and further process in the process of registering as a pharmacist. So FPG is actually um, a 200 uh, based questions um, majority part, and it's around 200 questions and. 50 or something questions they are not um, mark as uh, give you like marks but like scores um, but rest is like 150 questions so out of 150 questions the requirement is that you have to get at least a 75 score which is the passing score required for your for, for, for the process uh, it's basically just a lot of um, aspects of the pharmacy uh, for instance basic clinical pharmacy anatomy and physiology and all of stuff their competency uh, they are posted on their official website so you can check it out furthermore so uh, next is um, what are the study materials study materials as uh, it's a basic same so you have to study uh, mainly focus on 35 percent i guess is about the clinical thing so your first thing pharmacology uh, for pharmacology I would suggest uh, lip and fat which is a more um, organized kind of book um, they have everything um, some people uh, also use the Katzen but lip and fat is more organized and it's really helpful to get you uh, in all of the stuff thing you don't have to study everything you have to study like pharmacodynamics, kinetics, and uh, ADRs and things. So main these things will get you help uh, because um, it is what it is. Second uh, is APA. APA is a must to do because uh, it describes the laws and the regulations, uh, pharmacy practice, which is quite different um, than from your home country. And then uh, for management, um, and practice questions uh, you have to study manage shop um, for the biostat and medicinal chemistry and calculation kind of things there is different opinion about the CPR and also RX prep so CPR I would suggest CPR is a comprehensive pharmacy review book um, it's really good uh, it's kind of overwhelming because of the lot of uh, information but you can just study about the medicinal chemistry uh, and other related things and biostat also you can study these from the uh, rx prep uh, which is another good book and it will be helpful in uh, preparing for netflix also so cpr and rx prep both are very quite handful of books if you are preparing for the netflix all right so that's all for today see you in the next one bye bye